On September 11, 2001, the world watched in disbelief as the twin towers of the World Trade Center collapsed. But beyond the tragedy lies a story of engineering, and how it forever changed skyscraper design. The twin towers were marvels of engineering. Designed by Minoru Yamasaki they used a revolutionary tube-in-tube -tube design, a steel perimeter frame for external strength and a central core of steel columns housing elevators and utilities. This innovative design allowed for vast open office spaces, but it also had vulnerabilities. When the planes struck they tore through multiple floors, severing steel columns and igniting jet fuel, which set off massive fires. The towers were built to withstand high winds and even smaller plane crashes, but not the intense heat that followed. The fires, fueled by jet fuel and office materials, reached temperatures over 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. While steel doesn't melt at these temperatures, it weakens significantly, losing about 50% of its strength at 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 90% at 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. As the floors sagged from heat they pulled on the perimeter columns. Eventually the combined stress led to a catastrophic failure and the buildings came down in what's known as a progressive collapse. So how did this tragedy reshape skyscraper design? Engineers and architects learned invaluable lessons. Fireproofing materials were improved to resist higher temperatures for longer. Evacuation systems like stairwells were restructured to be more robust and accessible. And the redundancy of critical support systems became a standard to prevent progressive collapses. The legacy of the Twin Towers is a testament to human resilience. From their ashes, rose not just a new building but safer, stronger skyscrapers, built to withstand the unimaginable. This is the engineering story of the Twin Towers, a tragedy that reshaped the world of architecture. Thanks for watching.